everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in to On Cable Tonight. I'm your host, Loretta McNary. We have planned a wonderful show for you today. You know, we always try to spend a lot of time on our shows highlighting and spotlight young adults and teenagers who are doing amazing work in our community. And so we have with us three amazing, wonderful, super awesome young men that I call my sons and one actually is my son. Everybody welcome to On Cable Tonight, Jacob McNary and Kylan Owens. Okay, so we're here because you all are so amazing. You are so amazing. You know, I've been knowing you since you were like so little, so little and so young, and you have grown into some amazing young men. So Jacob, tell us when you were in middle school and you left your mom for about seven days, where did you go? Oh, we took a car trip to Hawaii mm -hmm. for about, about seven days. Yes, yeah. how was that? Oh, it was terrific. The weather down there is just great. <clears throat> Great. What was your favorite part? The beach? Mm, might have been the beach and going to the mall. And going you know, to the mall. my friends, yeah. Because you all did a competition there, too. You competed against, yeah, it wasn't just a fun trip. You had to go and sing, right? Yeah, we sung a couple places. We okay. sung um, right on the beach, I believe. Mm -hmm. It was a while ago. So yeah, I know. Day. You were yeah. a little kid then, right? Yes. I know Kylan probably remembers more. How was oh. Hawaii? Uh, it was exciting. Uh, the main thing I would say, what Jacob said, was the um, beach. Mm -hmm. The beach was perfect, the beach and the was mall perfect. was awesome. <laughs> and we performed. We did really good. We were a little nervous because, mm -hmm. you know, it was like what second year going out yeah. out of the country. Yeah. So it was kind of intense mm -hmm. being away from the family. But once we got over that, I mean, the performance, we was just so used to it. It wasn't really a problem. It wasn't a problem. I have yet to go to Hawaii, so I was like so jealous of Jacob being gone, and then he only called me a couple of days, so I just had to put that out there. I'm over it. I say I'm over it, but I bring it up all the time. You do. Yeah, and another thing about you all, you have like a huge schedule. Not only yep. your academics, but with the choir, you in several choirs, you perform. Kyle, yes. I know you also participated in something at the Orpheum and yes. did really well. Can yeah. you tell us about that? Um, I did a play at Overton called Grease. Mm -hmm. It was my first year doing a play and I got nominated for Best Feature Actor at the Orpheum. Mm -hmm. My first time getting nominated, I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect. People were telling me, you know, you might not get the award. Don't be mad or anything. So, you know, I went in there thanking God that I did good. Went in there. They was like, and the winner for Best Featured Actor is Colin Owens. And my mom, my whole family was there. We were rejoicing, <laughs> having fun. So ever since then, after that, I mean, I've been getting calls from Theater Memphis. I'm in a play at Theater Memphis called Music Man. Okay. It, yeah, it airs um, June, mm -hmm. the whole month of June, June 6th through the 29th. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's very intense. Very we intense. have to check that out. Yeah. We have yeah. to check that out and support yeah. our young thespians. Yeah. Okay, Jacob, so what are some of the highlights of your career as a performer during the school time? Oh, mainly just performing with my, my brothers, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're so close to just call them brothers. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So I know every year your choir, your school goes to the Peabody, and you mm -hmm. all sing this song about the 12 days of Christmas, or are you going to do this, and you're going to do that. That's mm -hmm. one of my favorite yeah. songs. So it's a, it's it seems like you have a lot of fun when you're singing. Yeah, it's, a, it's fun to sing. It's mm -hmm. pretty funny, too. Yeah. So how do you balance everything? That's what I want to ask you guys, because I know you're involved at church, too. You yeah. have the choirs, you have it's your intense. academics, and you hang out, I guess, with your friends. All right. So just, you do something regular. Yeah. Okay. Just manage your time. Manage your That's time. what I do. Manage my time. I have certain time. I try to have a certain time for everything, but, mm -hmm. you know, certain things come up to where I can't go hang with Jake and Jalen or any of that. So I got to like, oh, I can't go hang with you guys because I got church or I can't hang with you because we got a concert here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they be like, oh, man, come on, you can, can't go. So <laughs> when we when we can be together, it's it's, it's nice. It's a nice yeah. thing. Have to, yeah, have fun. Yeah, have fun. So you do something regular teenagers. Yeah. Because I know when you're performing, you have your tuxedos on right. and not even a lot of kids own tuxedos and you all have had yours since sixth grade at least. Right. And then you yeah. participated at All West every yeah. year. You have your tuxedos on then. And I know a lot of older guys don't have, tu they don't have tuxedos. They've never put one on and you right. guys have grew up in tuxedos. So yeah. do you all think you're fortunate or you're blessed or you're yeah. average? I mean, we've been given the uh, chance to like grow up into choir and stuff like that mm -hmm. and yeah. wear the tux and like, you know, uh, 
So you like that? Yeah. But do you think that you have certain privileges or blessings that the average teenager has? You think your life is average? Everybody lives like you do. Everybody goes like you go. Or do you think that you just have some extra favor in your life? Well, I haven't really took a chance to see how other teenagers live, but I know I'm pretty busy, mm -hmm. like with school and choir and show choir. Mm -hmm and trying to hang out with my friends and spend enough time with my mom. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I have to beg for time, but that's another show. <laughs> so tell me about balancing, because you're also in the Key Club, so yes. that means you have to volunteer and help um, other people. And you remember the time when we went to the shelter and you guys had to serve Thanksgiving dinner? Yes, ma'am. So that's important to you as a teenager, too, to give back? Yes, ma'am. OK, how important? Very oh. important, or is it something <laughs> I'm forcing on you? Uh, it's, <laughs> a little it's both. It's important, yeah. It's a little both. Okay. So, what do you want? To, what college have you decided? Your top three choices? Um, Howard University in Washington D.C., mm -hmm. Morehouse, and Wiley College. Wiley College. Okay. How about you, Kyle? Um, I have a few colleges in mind, but the main three I would say: um, UT Knox mm -hmm. in Knoxville, Tennessee. AMDA College in Los Angeles, California. I'm looking to go there for their business and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, believe it or not, U of M. Um, it's here in Memphis. It's mm -hmm. a great school. It's just in Memphis. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I got to get used to that because I want to go away. Yeah. But it's like if they give me a full ride, that's where I go. Doesn't I know. Matter. I told you, wherever the money, right. the most money, the money is, is at the U of M, then we'll yeah, be there happy. The money. Right. Happy. Because he wants to go so far away. Because he had yeah. UTK on his list, too. So now he's, mm -hmm. all of them are far away. Right. So what, how do you talk to other teenagers? Because you see the news. You hear the stories about um, particularly African-American males or this and their dad. How, how does that affect you? Does it affect you at all when you hear the negative stereotypes? A little bit. Well, when we hear the negative stereotypes, it's it's a little hard on us because we don't be one to hear that those things about our friends and mm -hmm. stuff like you know. So, do you try to live your life, you know, more on purpose so you can counteract that, or yeah. do you think you're separate from that issue? Well, we try to work with it, but work against it at the same time to make the stereotype better. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah. How about you, same thing? Yeah, uh, I don't like the negativity they give us. Mm -hmm. Like, if one African-American does something on TV, it's like, oh, now we gotta look at all the African-Americans. Like, oh, you gonna do this, you gonna do that. And it's like they prejudge you before you can show them what you really can do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just like it. But you just have to praise God and try to continue his journey. So let his light shine through you. Yeah. I yeah. like that answer. So you really it makes you work harder to prove it wrong. Right. Is you that try what your you're best. Saying? Yeah, you yeah. try your best to prove them wrong so mm -hmm. they can see that you're not that person that they saw on TV. Yeah. yeah. And and it's, it's unfair, but it is right. certainly a reality for a lot of, you know, people and they think that. And that's why it's so important for me to do the show to showcase, you know, all the positive things that you all do. You give right. back, you right. make great grades in school, you go to school, right. and then you participate in other things and yeah. like you said church is huge. Church is huge. I, <laughs> it's a funny story. Uh, show choir, we always have a performance on like a Friday night or Saturday night. So, you know, I'm a seven-day Adventist. So, mm -hmm. Friday night from sunset, Friday to sunset Saturday, I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So, it was like, Mr. Valdez would say, you know, Kyle, we have a show Friday. Like, I can't go. I got church. Mm -hmm. Jacob and them. Ah, oh, you got church. Ah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, I'll forget y'all, you know? Mm -hmm. Got church. But, you know, they get used to it. That's why I like them as friends, because they can get used to that. So yeah. I don't have to deal with it as much. Okay, good. So, what about church in your life? I try to go to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Just chill a little bit on Sundays mostly. Yeah, you go and you used to um, go because I made you, but one thing I'm really proud of, you've gone a few times and I didn't make you go. So I can see your maturity level as a Christian, a young Christian, and to see the young men that you all are growing into. Right. I know your families are very, very proud of you, Kyle, yeah. and I know you know I'm proud of you. So, <laughs> <laughs> and you all did a performance, so we need to see that performance because you sing and you did a couple songs and we're gonna show those songs in just a moment. Um, I, you want to introduce the song? I think it's going to be the first song that you practiced. Uh, the first song was What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. We did our own little rendition. Okay. Hope you enjoy. Oh, yeah, we will enjoy. Trust me, it was amazing. You're insecure, don't know what for. You're turning heads when you walk through the door. Don't need makeup 
to cover up being the way that you are is enough everyone else in the room can see it everyone else but you baby you light up my world like nobody else the way that you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed and when you smile at the ground it ain't hard to tell you don't know oh you don't know you're beautiful if only you saw what i could see you'd understand why i want you so desperately right now i'm looking at you and i can't believe you don't know oh you don't know you're beautiful that's what makes you beautiful. So come on, you got it wrong. To prove I'm right, I put it in a song. I don't know why you're being shy. And turn your head when I look into your eyes. Everyone else in the room can see it. Everyone else but you. Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. The way that you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed. And when you smile at the ground, it ain't hard to tell you don't know. Oh, you don't know you're beautiful if only you saw what I could see. You understand why I want you so desperately. Right now I'm looking at you and I can't believe you don't know. Oh, you don't know you're beautiful. That's what makes you beautiful. Woo, I love it. <laughs> I love that song. And, you know, of course, I've seen when you perform in front of an audience and the girls are screaming your names. How does that feel to have, you know, your peers screaming your names and people you don't know, young people that you don't know screaming your name? I'll go with you first, Kyla. How does that feel? Overwhelming and crazy. Because you wouldn't <laughs> expect for you to be at a certain age to where you got fans already, like mm -hmm. your own age group screaming your name. So I didn't expect it because yeah. I didn't think I was cool enough, you know? So <laughs> when they scream my name, it, it kind of give me motivation when mm -hmm. I sing. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like, okay, I can sing to her now cause she's screaming my name. So I guess you could say motivation, overwhelming. Yeah. Okay, how about you, Jacob? Oh, it's great. The feeling, I just love being on stage, especially mm -hmm. with these guys. Mm -hmm. We bonded so much on stage. It's, Amazing. And you have fun. Yeah. So it's not like you worried about, you know, forgetting your words or no, no. missing a step. You just get up there and do your best and have fun. You just try not to think about it that much, but okay. we have fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. So we do, as you saw, uh, we have um, Jalen. Yeah. This yeah. kind of come on, but kind of intro this song that's coming up next. The next song you all are going oh, to say you'll um, see. As Long As You Love Me by Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. It's our own rendition, too. Okay. <laughs> Yep. I like how you own the songs you sing because you don't have to sing. Just, you, we don't need another Justin Bieber, right. you know. Yeah. And I'm not saying it in a negative way. We don't need another Tupac. We don't need another, you know, Marvin Gaye. We yeah. need you to be who you are. Right. So this song coming up in just a few seconds, everybody is. As long as you love me. As long as you love me. As long as you love me, we could be starving, we could be homeless, we could be broke. As long as you love me, I'll be a platinum, I'll be a silver, I'll be a gold. As long as you love me, as long as you love I don't know if this makes sense, but you my hallelujah. Give me a time and place and I rhyme it, I fight to it, I beat you there. Girl, you know I got you, us, trust. Couple things I can't spell without you. Now we on top of the world, cause that's just how we do. You should tell me sky's the limit, now the sky's our point of view. And I'm stepping out like, whoa, oh God. camera's pointing at you. Ask me what's my best side, I step back and point at you. You, you, the one that I argue with, feel like I need a new girl to be bothered with. But the grass ain't always green on the other side. It's gonna be you water it, so I know. We got issues, baby, true, true, true. With the weather, work on this with you, then go ahead and start with someone new. As long as, as, long as you love, love me, we, we could be starving, we could be homeless, we could be broke. As long as you love me, I'll be a platinum, I'll be a silver, I'll be a gold. As long as you love me, as long as you love me. Joining us now is another great friend of the 
three people that have been <laughs> up here that are so amazing as teenagers and young men. Jalen Mason, yes, welcome to yes. the show. Glad to be here. Yes, what a performance. How do you feel when you're performing with these guys you call your brothers? Well, you know, it's every every time I perform with these guys, it's just like I, you know, you can never be uncomfortable with them mm -hmm. because they, uh, they provide a sense of, I guess, um, Support, comfort, and support. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because they're my brothers. I've been with them for so long. You know? Yeah, but you also sing by yourself too. Like yeah. you're at church, you're leading songs, and yeah. you're going to different places and singing at weddings and all that good stuff. So, what's yeah. what's better, singing with these guys or singing by yourself? Hmm. Is there an adjustment that you have, have to make to when you're by yourself? With well, it is mm -hmm. because, like I just said, when I when I, when I'm with these guys, I feel a, a more more comfortable mm -hmm. than I would when I'm with by myself. Mm. You know, and so that's really the only thing.